Hey guys, it's TNN, and today we're going to have a look at a drone. So this is the Rokorn U31W drone, and it's a Navigator drone, which is pretty cool. It's got 120 degree wide angle, 720p HD Wi-Fi camera on there as well. So it's an FPV camera already built in, so there is real-time FPV. Uh, custom route mode, so you can route the actual drone as well, so it goes in a certain way. Uh, altitude hold mode. Uh, heading hold mode. Wi-Fi control, out of range alarm, low battery alarm, and one button to take off and landing. How cool is that? So this is the drone. If you're interested in purchasing this, the link to buy will be down below in the description. We're going to give it a shot as well. So it's ages 14 plus only. Got some dangerous stuff over here. We've also got the uh, QR code for the app so you can download it. So you download the app on your smartphone. Uh, available for iPhones and Android phones then you can look at the camera live on your phone you can also control the drone from your phone as well how awesome is that um, nothing else all around pretty much uh, just some information over here of this particular product we've got some tape over here I'm just going to go ahead and grab my knife and we'll cut that open so here it is let's go ahead and let's cut into this uh, it's really tight sort of here He's cutting very delicately. Ooh. There we go. Let's open this up. And how is it opening up? It's like a box like this. What do we get introduced with first? We got the quick start guide. Basic stuff, really. That's pretty cool. We'll look at that in a minute. Uh, free VR glasses. Get it now. Sharing your honest review with your friends on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, and Instagram. So if you share the review, you get some free VR glasses. How cool is that? That's cool. So you can use the VR glasses with this drone, obviously. And then you can fly the drone like a VR headset. So that's pretty cool. Got the main drone over here. We also got a quick start guide, another one for the Navigator U31. So this is more of a in-depth quick start guide. That's cool. What else do we have? Let's open up the actual boxing. So packaging is quite good actually, I have to admit, that is really good packaging. Uh, we do have another sort of letter over here. And I assume this is Quick Start Guide again, but in German, I think. I think this is German, I don't know if you recognize this language, then you'll know. But yeah, Vordemflug sounds German. Uh, what we have over here, this seems to be the battery. So it comes with a 350 mAh battery, and it is a LiPo battery, so that's really, really good. Uh, very high quality battery, and it is 3.7 volts times two 350 mAh batteries, so there's two of them in there. That's very good, so the battery should last you quite a long time. Let's go take out the actual drone over here. So we've got this tag on there just for caution, calibration, instructions. So we're going to need that, obviously, to calibrate the drone. But here it is, so you can see the camera over here, so that is a 720p, 170 degrees camera. And you've also got the antenna over here for the FPV function, and then of course the slot for the battery which goes in over here. So that's very, very nice. We'll pop that to one side and we'll have a look at that later on. Uh, let's take the rest of this out, I have no idea how it comes out. There it goes. Very tightly fitted actually, not going to lie, it is very tightly fitted. And then we've got the actual remote control over here, so we've got some other things over here. Uh, we've got extra propellers, we've got the charging cable as well, so you can see over here, it is a unique pin charging cable, USB as well with an LED indicator to indicate whether it's been charged or not. And we also come with an Allen key and a small mini screwdriver as well just to take out the propellers and the prop guards. Uh, pop the battery to the side over there. Then we have the controls as well for the actual remote control or the transmitter. So here is actually a big, really, really big controller. So we've got over here the power switch in the middle. So that's on and off. Uh, we've got the one button take off, landing and emergency stop button over here. So it will go up and down with this one. Uh, we've got the heading hold mode over here button. Uh, of course, this is fly forward, fly backwards, fly right, fly left. And then fly up, fly down, turn right, turn left. And we've got a couple of buttons over here which aren't actually functional. So for this model, they're not buttons. So we see over here, not functional, but these would be buttons if you get another model, for example. And then of course we have some sort of LED indicator over here, and then the antennas as well. Now, 
if you pull up here, you can see that we have the phone mount. So you can mount your phone onto here, like so. Like that, mount your phone onto here, and you can basically look at the camera live. So that's really, really cool. It's all slotted in like that. On the back we have some buttons over as well. Uh, trim and HL, made in China. And of course, slide down over here. And we can see the battery slot. So it takes AA batteries, so it takes four AA batteries. It's quite a bit there. But we're gonna go ahead and we will plug it all in, set it all up, and we'll give it a shot. But this is the drone anyway, this is it. Uh, UDRC, navigator drone is called. The power on, power off button here is all on top. And that's pretty much it with this drone. I mean, it doesn't have an SD card slot, not that I can see or anything. So, you don't have an SD card slot, but you can record straight from your phone. And, of course, see it live from your phone as well. So, we're going to go ahead and set that all up. I'm going to give it a shot and then we'll be on to the review of this video. So, be right back. Hey guys, so we're going to go ahead and fly the drone now. Now, I made a mistake, it does have actually have an SD card slot, it's right underneath there. So it's a little push one, you push it out like that. And push the back in. So it doesn't come with an SD card, uh, I did have to put my own one there. So I put in a, I think a 4GB SD card in there. And we can go ahead and film as well now. So now we can film videos because before we need the SD card. Um, other than that, let's go ahead and power it up. You can see over here, it starts flashing. We'll just pop that down here. Now go ahead and switch on this. Now let me actually go on my smartphone and actually open up the app as well. So all you have to do is download the app, go on to your Wi-Fi, and you can see over here UDIRC FPV. Just go ahead and connect to that one there. That is the drone camera. And go ahead and quit that. And the app is Flying C. And it's that little emoji over there. So just go ahead and click on that, flying C. There you go. To get the app, all you have to do is scan the barcode that comes in the instruction manual. Click on remote interface. There you go. We can see the live camera now of the watch, of the, sorry, the drone. And the quality is actually, of course, HD as well, which is awesome. So there you go. We've hooked that up. And we can see everything live as well now. Now, let me try and put the brightness up. It is on max, but hopefully you guys can see it. It is a live camera. And to connect, all you got to do is power on this, uh, flick up and down, and then left and right. And then simply take off and take down buttons over here. And you can also set a GPS on there as well. So let's try and give it a shot. And it flies quite well. It is very, very sensitive though. And if you do want to land it, see it won't land like that easily. You have to press the take off and... Uh, take down button if you want to land it. So press that and it literally just takes off. And it's so simple as well. And if I go ahead and press the take down button, and there you go. It sits down. So that is pretty much the basics as well. You can control it fully from the actual smartphone as well. So you can take pictures, uh, you can record, and you can check the SD card. You can also draw out a map for where you want the drone to fly. So it will draw fly a certain way and adjust the speed and the rotation as well. Uh, you can put it on VR mode. So, so there's two screens that you can put on a VR headset and you can watch it with the VR headset, which I think is absolutely awesome. And then we can go back to home, of course, the home settings. So that's the basics of this drone. It is really, really nice. Um, I'm pretty sure you can't do any skills and stuff. I've been trying, I've been using it. I don't think you can do any flips and skills. But it is just a basic drone. It can film, it can record. And it is really, really good. And I'm going to try and show you the camera quality now. As we record it through inside of the camera. Um, other than that, overall score has to be 9 out of 10. It is a really, really good drone. I think it is a bit high priced at what it is right now. But... It is a good drone and the camera quality is also really, really nice as well. So don't forget to comment, like, subscribe as always. Uh, thanks for watching this video and I'm just going to show you the drone camera now as well.